Okay, I just received the $9 chip computer from uh, Next Thing Company in the mail. I like, pre-ordered this um, Kickstarter like a year ago, so I'm very excited. I got a Raspberry Pi here just to uh, compare size and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, more, yes. Uh, I think they allowed me to order two, so I did order two, so I got two of the chip computers, and then I also ordered the HDMI plug, because I figured, why not? Okay, and so let's go ahead and, uh, so far, a little bit smaller than a Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead. It's got the little chip logo on here. Very excited to see if this thing is any good. Oh, look at that. It came with audio video cables. I thought it said it wasn't going to, so that's that's a little bonus right there I didn't think I was going to be getting. And let's see, I'm assuming that's in both boxes. So it's a nice little chip logo there. Pink little audio video. That's great. So I'll test those out as well as the HDMI plug here uh, adapter. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like here. Wrapping a nice little foam here. And there is, oh, nice little pink logo. I guess pink is their color. And this is just a add-on board to add HDMI. So for those of you who are not familiar, uh, the chip computer is a nine dollar computer uh, plus five dollar shipping so it's it, you know shipping at least to the United States and Canada I know they had sh different shipping issues other places but uh, fifteen dollars total you can get one of these computers um, and it has a half a gig of RAM I don't remember the other specs off the top of my head um, but definitely much cheaper than Raspberry Pi not as powerful as a Raspberry Pi and as you've already seen, it has um, these composite plugs. So you have one plug here, just like the newer Raspberry Pis, where the older Raspberry Pis had the larger yellow composite for video, and then it had the eighth-inch jack for audio. Uh, this has eighth-inch jack, like the new Raspberry Pis, for both the audio and video. But the audio plug on this supposedly is also a microphone plug, which is great. That's one of the things I'm pretty sure the Raspberry Pi is only output, and I really wish it had an input for microphone stuff. Um, so that's great, and it's great that it came with these cables. I was not expecting that. And, um, you know, it doesn't, it only has one uh, standard USB plug, one micro, which is for power and OTG, so you can uh, hook it up to a computer and actually access it directly through that, which is great. Uh, something that's, um, as far as I know, you can't do with a Raspberry Pi. So you can actually, and it has four gigs of flash memory built in, so no SD card. Um, and also has, Wi-Fi built in. Uh, oh, it's nice. It doesn't come with a case, but the bottom, it does have a little bottom case thing. Was not expecting that. So that is great. So, uh, you know, there's a plug here that looks like it's a power plug. I was pretty sure that it would power through USB. We'll look into that in a moment. Um, so yeah, so it has Wi-Fi built in, four gigs of storage. I believe it already has Debian installed on it. Um, and only one USB port, audio, video, input and output right there. Um, and then again, if you want HDMI, um, there's an extra 15 bucks for this. But even 15 bucks plus the 10 bucks and then, you know, splitting the, um, the shipping. So, so we'll say 30 bucks altogether. It's still cheaper than a Raspberry Pi. Again, not as powerful, especially compared to the newer Raspberry Pis. But when you think about... The cost of the Raspberry Pi, which is going to be $35, plus the shipping, uh, plus you need an SD card, which this already has the flash memory built in. Uh, it does not have an expansion slot that I'm aware of, uh, but 4 gigs is plenty built in. Could use the USB here for more storage, but you figure SD card, and like here I have a USB. Wi-Fi adapter, don't need that on here. So that, that frees up one of your USB ports there anyway. So again, not nearly as powerful specs-wise as the Raspberry Pi, and then again, the HDMI is separate. But especially if you don't care about that HDMI, 
$10, $9, plus $5 shipping, and if you order more than one, the shipping is somewhat combined, I believe. Um, so if you're buying a few of them, definitely, definitely cheaper than a Raspberry Pi. And again, it's a full Linux computer, GPIO pins here, and uh, you know they have connection boards. They even have a little portable chip companions or something, I think it's called, where it's a touch screen, or not touch screen, it's a keyboard and screen and battery pack that this plugs into, making it a portable tablet, basically. Uh, that was, I want to say 60 or 70 bucks, that's why I didn't order that. So yeah, so I got two of these, and again, I'm very happy they gave me these. Uh, again, I got the HDMI just in case I felt like I needed it, uh, but this will be great, because one of the things I think I might use this for is an arcade cabinet, and I'll probably be using RCA plugs for that. So, that's it. This is just an unboxing. Wanted to show it to you. Uh, let's go ahead and see which way does this connect. I don't know. I'll have to look. I don't know if it's supposed to go this way or that way. Because it will fit in both ways. So I'll have to look up instructions on that. But basically, this board sits on top of there. And you know what? It's going to go the other way because I think the HDMI plug will hit the... Um, USB port there. So there we go. It probably goes like that. You also notice that there is no um, Ethernet. That's going to be like the biggest drawback if you ask me because sometimes it's nice to just plug right in and be up and going. But since it has Bluetooth built in, not a huge deal because you're more likely to, or not Bluetooth, a Wi Fi. It has Wi Fi built in. It's also really nice how it's labeled here uh, on the side. All the pins. That one's five volts, three volts, you know. So the uh, the pin layout is already on the board there. Well, don't want to got to pull this apart without breaking it. Okay. Anyway, I'll do that gently here in a moment. <laughs> so it's great, you know. I like that. Uh, you know, they're female connectors rather than male connectors. I don't know how that how you feel about that. I think it's great that they're all labeled right like that. That's really nice. So far, I'm very happy with this, but haven't turned it on yet. So let's go ahead, and in the next video, we'll go ahead and turn it on and get connected to a network and see how things are working. Thank you for watching. So this is an unboxing. I don't think I've ever done an unboxing before. For the most part, I don't understand why people do unboxings, but they seem to be very popular. So I figure, since this is my new channel on hardware stuff, I figure I'd do an unboxing of this since it came in today. We're going to be looking at this over the next couple of weeks, and then getting into um, some more microcontroller stuff. Uh, you know, I have um, some projects coming up that are going to be a lot more hardware related, but this is definitely something that's going to be handy in the future. Great price. I mean, you really can't beat that. $9.00. $15 total if you're just buying one Wi-Fi, 4 gigs built in. Um, definitely, definitely going to have some fun with that. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out my first channel. You can watch videos from both my channels and search through them at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link to that in the description of this video, as well as a link to my Patreon page if you want to become a supporter. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. I hope that you um, like the idea that I'm doing this new channel here because um, I've been doing my software channel for years and I've done hardware stuff on there. I want to do some more hardware stuff, get more into it, so I thought I'd branch it off into a whole new channel. So I thank you for watching this. I hope you continue watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.